<clears throat> Hello and welcome back to the Do's and Don'ts of D&D. So, today we're going to be talking about power gamers. So these are, if you're not familiar, the people who basically min-max their stats to try and get themselves to be as powerful as possible, which can make which there's issues with if you're not careful with your encounters as a DM. It can make people feel like their characters aren't good enough and not really feel useful. But it's a very easy fix. So this do's and don'ts shouldn't be too long in comparison to the others. What I found is you basically, without like actively going for a character because that's just rude, you make encounters which are slightly harder for that character as opposed to the other characters. Like, um, in our current session, in my current D&D, I have a min-maxing, basically, infinite hit, infinite health barbarian, basically, because he made himself as immune to everything as possible and was super good with his stats, so he's very strong. He's very good at just not dying. And then rage and using shock and shocking his enemies and doing all that, he puts out a lot of damage. He puts out a lot of damage for what he takes, but this is only in close quarters combat. Which I, which so, in the encounter I just made and that they're currently going through, I have, I brought in um, some awakened trees and basically. It attack he tried to hop over the tree. The tree was secretly an awakened tree. It grabbed him, rolled on top of him. Now he has to fight his way out. So things like that that make it harder for X character, which I like because it may it'll make him try and min max himself more. So you always have to be careful that you're not mean to the players because not he doesn't find it too hard. He's getting out, he's not taking too much damage, he's, I'm not being mean to him, he's just He's just having fun, blah, blah, blah. But I also feel there's nothing wrong with min-maxing, as I kind of do it a little bit myself. Like, such as my rain, which I'll get onto in a second, but basically the premise is you build the encounter for certain players because we have a high-level cleric, which, well, a high level for their sessions, which is a 7th level cleric, a 4th level ranger, and then the 4th level barbarian. So, it's, the cleric is not having the worst time, and neither is the ranger, except the ranger ends up accidentally getting himself into stuff, like he accidentally got his his um, uh, familiar companion killed by accident because it ran by a zombie and the zombie was like, ooh, attack of opportunity. Now, when a player makes stupid decisions even by accident, I'm still gonna be punishing even though the encounter's mainly made to, uh, mainly is a ch more of a challenge for one of, meant to be one a more of a challenge for one of the characters because the ranger, of course, is a ranger. He's good at range stuff, getting behind cover, moving around, all that. And that's how you do such a thing. Now, what if this isn't to say there's any problem with power gamers? I've always found it adds a new level of depth to your encounters. It means you can have more complex ones. Now. This is mainly because I don't want to be without min-maxing, and I love min-maxing. In truth, that's what my, I love to do in D&D. Now, my DM, what he does to counter me, because I am a Tabaxi Ranger, because that are already is a fair enough combination. I'm also level in fighter and, ha and I'm basically aiming to make my own super soldier character. He just makes, well, so he's starting to, he's basically made, he could easily just make encounter, he can and does make encounters that are supposed to be harder for my character, except, eh, I've played D&D &D for a little, 
I played a little bit of D&D &D and he's a little bit new over DM, so he's just starting to figure out things such as he currently has it where, oh, this enemy just picks up this enemy, carries them, then on that enemy's turn, he walks up to me and stabs me and does stuff like that. Making it so I take more damage. But fairly, of course, because he doesn't just purely target me. His encounters are pretty hard. Not too hard. Though, yeah. Though, that's mainly because he's dealing with some decently advanced players. Because there's me and then um we have i have a uh, cleric who i've been playing with for a, quite quite some time now and yeah just do encounters that target like make it kind of some sometimes not all the time but go against the weakness so like the barbarian i make it so it's a longer range fight if it's like a if it's my range right if it was my ranger that I was had to m m basically min-max my encounter for to make it so it hits them harder than it hits the other party so it seems like a more fair battle. And it is a more fair battle. I'd probably just get a ambush me or something or get me into a point where I'm not able to use my bow really well and then get trapped in corners and all that. As well, or just like very tight spaces, because tabaxes don't like that. Uh, or let's say it was, let's say you had a couple clerics who kept using spiritual armor on each other. Just have things that hit harder in your thing. As well as you can always ease, tweak the um, damage out, the overall damage output and all that of monsters to make it a little bit harder. Not too much that it makes it unfair, but yeah. This one went on a little bit long. This episode went on a little longer than I thought it would, but peace.